centuries ago in medieval times, the place we now call Spain was a divided land. The Moors occupied the south and east, and the Iberians the north and west. Both wished to control all of Spain. <coughs> Conflict and violence were a way of life. One day, the Moorish queen, Sharifa of Almeria, announced to her court, I would like to have a Christian slave. Upon hearing this, Moorish soldiers immediately sailed for Galicia, a kingdom on the northwest coast of Spain. Lorena, Sharifa Moura, was not complete because he had no son or daughter to inherit his lands and fortune. He and his countess were on a pilgrimage to the magnificent cathedral of Santiago de Compostela to pray to St. James for a child. And as they walked, for this is how pious pilgrims traveled, they sang a song in praise of St. Mary. Set Saying, take the keys to the pantry and the kitchen. 
To this the Countess replied, I will take them, my lady, for it is my great misfortune that yesterday I was Countess of Flores, and today I am a slave in the kitchen. The captive was then taken to the kitchen and given a bench to sleep on. Oh, me, senora, esta esclava, no es cabe que porque me hayas, y no es mora ni judía, ni es echada la malicia, si no es condesa y marquesa, senora de gran valía. were then decorated with precious gems. The slave, too, prepared clothing for her baby, but hers was made from leftover scraps of unadorned fabric. As the weeks and months passed, the queen found herself curiously drawn to her Christian slave, and the slave became the queen's personal maid and companion. But every night, the slave still returned to her bench in the kitchen to sleep. As it so happened, the two women gave birth on the same day. treachery, the slave knew that the babies had been switched. One day the slave was in the kitchen with the girl baby. As the tears falling from the slave's eyes washed the little girl's face, she said, Que vos cantare mi alma, que vos cantare mi vista, what will I sing to you, my soul, my sight? Nani, nani, la mija, sleep, sleep, my daughter. As the slave wept, she sang a lullaby that her nurse had sung to her when she was a child. <coughs> Thank you. 
examining the baby more closely, the slave said, I shall raise you as my own daughter, even though I did not give birth to you. And I name you Blanca Flor after my beloved sister. Many years ago, she was kidnapped by Moorish soldiers while gathering flowers one Easter morning. The queen was listening from her sitting room upstairs. Upon hearing the slave song, the queen rushed down the stairs like a fierce lioness and demanded to hear the song again. The slave replied, for you, my lady, lady, I will repeat it, although it gives me great sadness. And she sang her song once again. Then the queen asked the slave, by what would you know your sister, Blanca Flor, the sister that you love so well? By a mark she had on her left arm, my lady, the slave replied. Upon hearing this, the queen rolled up her fine sleeve and revealed a mark on her left arm. And by this, the two sisters, recognizing each other, embraced and kissed with great joy. My dear sister, said the queen, give me the daughter that is mine and take the son that is yours. And the very next day, the queen granted her sister her freedom. together. Others say that the slave, only the countess, the former slave, returned to Galicia. And yet others say that the countess married the most noble and wealthy man, the non